Only possible goodbyes by Sugria Che. Um, I'm Jehwan, and this this story is about uh, the Korea was a uh, Korea suffered by the Japan and Russia, but they finally became a uh, independent. In spring 19, 19, uh, in spring 1945, Korea was occupied by Japan, so the Koreans were suffering. The main character is Khan, uh, and her family is her mother, father, grandfather, Kisa, and Tiger, and her four brothers. They believe the Japanese will live so they can be happy someday. Most of Korean men were forced to go to the labor camp by the Japan. The Japanese didn't offer them enough food and let them to be sick. So some people died, but they couldn't know their families died life or death. It was Hewan's birthday when Sukan's family celebrated her birthday. Captain Narita came to home with his lieutenant. So later then they cut the tree which is the precious for grandfather. Sukan's grandfather passed away, so Sukan's family got in a big sorrow. Her mother became sick and Captain Narita pressured them continuously. Sukan's mother received a notice from one of Captain Narita's lieutenants. So she had to go to the, go to Japanese school. Students had to speak only in Japanese and Sukan met any. The teachers hated Koreans and one boy said that American will destroy and Sukan clap. So, so uh, it was August 15, 1945. The Japanese lost from the war, so the Koreans were Free, but it was still dangerous because the Japanese soldiers and police were still everywhere. Most of the men who were in the labor camp were died or sick because the Japanese soldiers didn't give them enough food and let uh. So when his two older brothers came back to their home, but they were they were so sick, so both of them died. After Japanese soldier left, left, Russian soldiers came to North Korea instead of American soldiers. Korean people thought the reason of their coming was to drive out the Japanese or for chasing out the Japanese. However, when they came to Korea, they ate everything inside, chased the girls, and store whatever they could carry. The two Russian soldiers came in the place where Sukhan and Incheon were, <coughs> so they went away from the Russian soldiers. They took whatever they want, even her father's wristwatch or so. The soldiers came over to Sukhan and Incheon. They were not, but they were not cruel like the Japanese. The Russian people had a party and invited Korean people. They even offered them a lot of food. They sent Korean to my field or factory and had them to sleep or clean. <coughs> After that, they showed t they showed children the same movie every day. The street was about Russian, Russian and the and made them to think the Americans are bad. Sukan's family heard that their brothers and father are probably in South Korea. So they decided to escape from the North Korea. But the Russian soldiers already blocked many ways which can go to South Korea. Sukan's family worked mo much harder not to be found that they will escape from the North Korea. In 
Chen and Sukandri. The guide was to arrive any minute. The start they started to go to train station. The train arrived, so they took the train. They arrived at the checkpoint, and the soldier the soldier was checking their passport. When Sukan's mother was checked her passport, the soldier pushed pushed ma her mom out of line. But Sukan and Inchen had to go ahead. Inchen and Sukan became hungry and cold. So they soothed the baby and got some food. They decided to go back to, gar to guard house and look for mother. But they couldn't find their mother. They arrived at the small country station and a man was waiting for them. He told them what should they supposed to do? They crawl under the train. When they arrived, they found they found the fence and they had to cross the river over the fence. They grabbed the lung and started to cross the river. That moment, they heard a fierce barking of dogs. They fell to their knees and started to dig. Then Sukan tried to lift the fence as much as she could. could. They were in South Korea, so the soldiers couldn't shut them. The information center had located their father's address in Seoul. Mother was already waiting for them. When they recovered, father enrolled them at the young he school. However, their freedom and happiness did not last long. In June fifth. In June 1950, war was broke out. Kisa and Aunt Tiger died as all traders did. And I'm gonna represent the Sukans. Uh, she wears hanbok, which is Korean traditional clothes. She is brave because she always protects her brother when they got in a trouble. She believed the Japanese will leave Korea, so she clapped when the boy said that Americans will destroy Japanese. She is gave the, to South Korea with her brother. She didn't like being a Korean child. She thought that rap pockets symbolized hope and peace. Her mother saved one of one rice cake for Hewan's mother. She was very happy to see Hewan enjoy that small treat. Thank you.